Hi there guys, this is Kenny, and in this video I want to share with you a few details about my life, and it's kind of all stemming from what just happened a couple days ago, which is that I lost my job. And although I'm okay right now, it was devastating to me um, at first. And it's not devastating because, you know, I'm losing a great job. The job was not a good job. It's a low-wage job in a factory. I mean, who cares? I'm not really concerned about that because I have the confidence I can get another job for a low wage easily. It's not a big deal. Um, the thing is, is that I lost something that I didn't want to lose. And um, I lost it because of not showing up for work on several occasions. Um, so I want to say a couple things. There are two reasons why I didn't show up for work um, over the past year. Um, one of the reasons is that I had a lot of car problems, a lot of not having transportation to work. Um, a couple times I got stuck in the snow because I live in Michigan. The other times the trans transmission blew, a couple tires blew, um, battery wouldn't start. It's already like four things. It's four days of missing work and they only let you miss like five days. And then I had other instances where I had major depression episodes, emotional breakdowns. And this is stuff that I could have prevented. I should have just, I, I really wish I was strong enough to say that I could have got through them. But obviously, it's in the past. It didn't happen. Um, I'm a little embarrassed to say that because it means that I'm emotionally weak. Um, but yeah, you know, it was kind of just like I had this emotional breakdown and I was in tears and I, and I felt hopeless. I felt depressed. I felt like it wasn't worth it going to work. And that's kind of the thing that I've done in the past is, is I've never physically hurt myself. I've never inflicted harm onto my body or anything. But the thing that I do is when I'm depressed, I sabotage the good things in my life. For example, not showing up for work. Other things I've done, you know, with school, not showing up for class, not to do my homework, um, reflecting bad on my grades, ultimately leading me to drop out of school. Um, and the other thing would be like relationships with my family, relationships with my girlfriend. They kind of suffered a lot. There's some really low points in those times. So that's kind of the problem that I face with my depression and my emotions is that that kind of stuff happens. Um, so yeah, I kind of felt really bad when it, when, when I found out I lost my job and I, I handled it well at first because I kind of knew the position I put myself in ahead of time and I knew it was coming. Uh, but on the way home, I started crying in the car. And when I got home, I took out my camera, I recorded myself. There's actually footage of me crying really bad on camera, but I decided not to upload that. So it's a couple days later, I found myself getting feeling good about everything. So now I'm able to talk about it. Um, uh, yeah, by the way, I just wanted to share with you some things about myself. So um, I kind of went through this kind of thing before where it's like I kind of lost my place and my comfort um, living style, the, the routine. By losing, In this case, I'm losing my job, so it's a transition period to find a new um, job and a new uh, routine in life. And before it was with school because I went to college and the first year I went to college, I was only 17 years old, not quite turning 18 yet. And I went to school my first year after high school. And um, I had a lot of depression issues. This is when my depression was at its worst. And I ended up having a lot of emotional episodes in school. I ended up being so depressed. I felt like not going to class, not doing my homework. I would just stay in bed because I was like scared and full of fear. And like, like I wasn't really ready for school. And, you know, I think that I've gotten a lot better. So over the past three years, I mean, that's really what my life has been about. It's been about recovering from this and not having to... Um, be um, so out of control and not in control of my emotions and being so fragile. So, um, but yeah, I ended up dropping out the first year of trying to go to school and I needed to get professional help. I went to go see a psychologist and it helped me for a little bit. I ended up moving in back with my mom and just living there for a whole year, not even having a job, nothing. I mean, I know it sounds like I'm a bum. Um, you know, I'm embarrassed to say it. I'm embarrassed to say that, you know, I was 18 years old and I didn't have a job and I was living off my mom. Okay, it sucks. I know. But I'm sharing you these details about my life so you got to kind of get a better understanding of what I've been through and where I'm at currently in my life. So I tried to go back to school um, and the next semester and um, it... It, got, it was better because I was kind of feeling good. I was feeling like I was ready to go out and tackle the world. But, you know... School, you know, they have high standards. You got to do your work. You got to show up. And I found out that I'm not capable. I'm not ready. I'm too lazy. I got depression. I've got a lot of baggage, a lot of stuff that I'm just not a good worker. I'm not good at keeping up with stuff. So 
this kind of is giving me the feeling like I'm just not fit for the world. I'm not fit for school. I'm not fit for the um, job market. You know, it's like, what can I be good at? And that's what makes me depressed is to know that I suck at all this stuff. So, I mean, to me, I would rationalize like that makes sense why I would hate myself. That makes sense why I'd be depressed, why I'd be so hopeless, because I feel like I'm not good at anything. And it just sucks. Um, so anyway, yeah, I ended up dropping out of school again because of course I'm not going to do my homework. Of course I'm not going to care about it. It's just there's no passion, just hopelessness. So anyway, after I dropped out of school the second time, this time I was 19 years old. And um, I was like, I moved back in with my mom again for a few months. And then it, finally I'm like, I'm getting a job. I'm moving out. So I got a job at a factory. This is the place I just got fired from. So I've been there for over a year and a half now. And... Um, I moved out. I looked for apartments, uh, and uh, I didn't find a good apartment. I ended up moving into a mobile home. So right now, I'm in a mobile home, and I, I, that's one thing I kind of didn't mention to you guys in any of my other videos, because like mobile homes kind of have a bad reputation, like trailer trash. It's not that bad. Mobile homes, you know, it's just it, they're common things in the area that I'm from. Um, they're just like apartments. You know, it's not a big deal. It doesn't mean anything about who you are as a person. So, yeah, I was kind of hesitant to share that with you. But I thought that if I want to really be open with you, I got to share with you what's going on in my life. So, um, yeah, so I just lost my job. And now I got to now I gotta get a new one. Um, again, I'm not worried about that because these jobs are like, they, there's so many of them. Low wage. It's not like I'm getting fired from a really good job. So I can go find one of these jobs really quickly. Um. Yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm kind of going through a difficult time right now because of that. And it's really hard for me to stay cool, calm, and collected, and confident. It's really hard for me to do that right now when I feel like everything's falling apart underneath me. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys that I can get through it, and that I'm going to get through it, and that there's no reason to overreact, there's no reason to break down that much anymore, and that me just not breaking down as much, like... Before, I would probably be screwed. Like, if I, this was me a couple years ago, I'd probably be running back to my mommy, asking to live in her basement, and not and be too scared to go get a job because I felt like I wasn't able to. But now it's just like, no, I, I know what I'm doing now. I'm growing up. And that's really, pretty much all this is. I'm growing up, and um, I'm able to, to take responsibility for myself and for my life and to do what I want with my life and to take responsibility for the way that I emotionally react to what's happening to me and I hope that you can do the same when you get put into these moments of crisis you know things that you don't want to happen happen losing something you know um, whether you lose a relationship you lose a, a loved one who passes away if you lose a job if you lose an opportunity if you miss out on something just remember to you know I'm hoping that you can when you're in those crisis situations that you know you can be strong and you can realize that there is a way to move forward. And that's what I mean to focus on right now, and that's what I thought I'd share with you to end this video. So, thanks for watching. That's a little bit about my life and kind of the past couple of years, few years, what I've been going through, the basic gist of it. And, you know, of course, along those few years, I've been trying to get better at making YouTube videos and, and increase my influence here online. So, um, that's pretty much what my life is all about right now. So, thank you for watching. This is me in my real life, even though it's so boring and not really exciting. It's, uh, um, I'm trying to figure stuff out right now. So that's kind of where I'm at. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.